hello you're welcome how to solve this nice algebra problem from here we can rewrite this and this will be square root of 10 then multiply by we have 11 can be written as 10 plus 1 also multiply by 12 let's write this as 10 plus 2 then multiply by 10 plus 3 then plus 1 from here then we have 10 common there so let's use a letter let m here be equals to 10 then we write this square root again as square root of 10 that's that will give us square root of m now so we have square root of m multiplied by that's into bracket m plus 1 then into bracket m plus 2 then into bracket m plus 3 then plus 1 then in the next step let's bring m and m plus 3 together so we have square root of m into bracket m plus 3 then m plus 1 and m plus 2 together we have m plus 1 into bracket m plus 2 then plus 1 from here then in the next step we expand this as we have m times m plus 3 so we have square root of m square plus 3m then let's put this in bracket then multiply by let's expand this we have m square plus 2m plus m plus 2 close bracket then plus 1 that's the expansion for that there then we can also add this together 2m plus m that's 3m so we have square root of m square plus 3m then multiply by m square plus 3m plus 2 then plus 1 from here then we have 3m m square plus 3m common here so let's use another letter now to represent that so let n be equals to m square plus 3m and uh, we can write this square root again and uh, this will become square root of this will give us square root of n multiplied by n plus 2 that's into bracket n plus 2 then plus 1 so when we use n to open this bracket this give us square root of n square plus 2n plus 1 which can be simply written as square root of n plus 1 or square so the expansion here gives us this so square now cancel square root so this gives us n plus 1 and don't forget from here we let n to be m square plus 3m so we replace that as n so we have m square plus 3m plus 1 and also don't forget that we let m to be equals to 10 then we replace m as 10 from here we have 10 square plus 3 times 10 then plus 1 10 square give us 100 that's 10 times 10 so we have 100 plus 30 plus 1 and then from here this give us 131 so the solution to that problem without using calculator is simply 131 thank you for watching please share this video also don't forget to subscribe for more exciting videos and give a thumbs up also put a comment if you have another way of solving it put it in the comment section thank you for watching see you next class and bye for now